Humans have migrated, interacted, traded, fought, explored since the beginning of time. Therefore, identifying the spread of industrial activity all over the globe during the past 50 years as globalization. Disregarding the previous few thousand years mispresents the context of economic development. So, what is globalization? Globalization is the growing in interdependence of the world's economics, centuries, and populations brought about by cross-border trades in goods and services, technology and flows, investments, people, and information. It is also the speed up of movements and exchanges. Here are the underlying philosophies of globalization. Some say it is like a double-edged sword. It had good and bad things. It began slowly and patchily. According to Wolfgang Lameker, globalization creates accelerated growth. Science processes, the richer we get, the more even the distribution. Is the spread of the businesses and facilities and markets between political entities. Globalization is a matter of scientific advancements from the invention of the wheel to the invention of the telegram to the invention of the internet. Maybe perspectives rather than philosophies a more useful way of looking at globalization. Maybe it could be the economic intellectualism with advocates and opponents of globalization in making their respective cases in decidedly contrasting terms. Good communications and technology transfer makes the distance comes closer. Comes with great employment and economic growth in the developing country. Philosophical digressions are not required as globalization. It is an extension of quid pro quo economic trade deals that have exiled for millennia. An economic want is a natural expression of evolving strategies to satisfy biologically in need. And lastly, globalization is commonly used as shorthand way of describing the spread and connectedness of production, communication, and technologies around the world.